so I have with me today Rob Roya. Did I get that right? Roya. Uh -huh. Roya. Uh -huh. Roya. And he's with a company that's called First Warning Systems, but I understand you're going to change your name. We are, right. Uh, can first, you share? Uh, no. Yes, <laughs> yes I can. Uh, so First Warning Systems is the name that people have really gotten to know us by. Um, the, the media has called it a smart bra type yeah, of application. It sounds a little bit like a burglar alarm. Yeah, though, but that's so. part of the reason, yeah. right? Um, that and because the name was so popular that all domains globally were gobbled up. So uh, we came up with a name that we really believe better identifies who we are. And the name is Circadia Health, and that's spelled C-Y, Circadia Health. Of and course, this is Silicon Valley, so we never spell anything the way it's supposed to. Exactly, <laughs> right. But it also puts us in, a, in the front page of Google because no one else spells it that way. And uh, more importantly, it really talks about how we look at uh, the body's change in cellular structure over a 12 to 24 hour time period, which is a normal circadian rhythm. Uh, well, what the, what the name really constitutes is that it's an early breast cancer, cancer screening system. Uh, it allows us to have a, um, a wearable body media device that is worn under the woman's normal garments. Okay, no x-rays, I take it. No compression, no x-rays. <laughs> right, the two main things. Yeah. Right? Uh, so it's a very comfortable garment that you wear for up to about 12 hours under your current um, garments. And uh, we do something called circadian testing. We look at changes in cellular patterns over that time period. And um, historical trials of 500 patients have told us that we're about 90% correlated to the actual state of, of, of cancer. Okay, so I just wanted to dig into that a little bit. So what are you picking up? You're picking up heat? Mm -hmm. what, what, what is the sensor actually sensing? Yeah, you actually, um, you actually look at the change over time in uh, heat pattern um, definition. So it's a time-related algorithm. Uh, what we do is a what's called predictive analytic um, uh, algorithm uh, and sets of algorithms that allows us to test changes of cellular patterns over a 12 to 24 hour time period. And would I be safe to assume that um, cancers probably show up as hot spots? They, uh, two things. Uh, w great question, by the way. Uh, the first area is that, yes, we do have the ability to show location through hot spots, and okay. there are reasons for that, that, um, that certain um, cellular changes and vascular changes uh, happen, and chemical changes actually happen upon the production of additional cancer cells. So we actually see that. Uh, we also see... You, you see the chemical changes, something different from heat? We, uh, yes. Well, okay. well, no, it's all heat related. It's all so, heat related. So we detect okay. the heat differentials based okay. upon the uh, first, the uh, beginning in growth and then the uh, more uh, exponential growth of cancer cells over normal cells. Uh, the second thing that we appear to be seeing is that something that the National Cancer Institute has looked at is a reduced protein association to those genes that help to change your, your cellular process over a normal 24-hour time period. Well, our indication is, is that most women that are supposed to, after a certain age, do their monthly breast exam, simply don't. Right, I don't think I know anyone who does a monthly breast exam. <laughs> exactly, and there are a lot of reasons for that. Yeah. Uh, but when we have polled uh, women who have said, I'd really like to know about my condition, but I certainly don't want to do my monthly breast exam, would you use this type of a device that may not only give you your impression of your current health, if you will, of your, of your tissue, but what if you could communicate with your sister who you knew had uh, a familial issue like you do, uh, or your mother had cancer, so therefore you want to know about all of your aunts. Uh, so what do you do about family, and can you communicate, intertwine with that, if you will, on a smartphone device that allows uh -huh. you to check on the health of your own daughter? Uh -huh. So yes, so yes, it's, a, it's an uh, early screening device can be used through smartphone-enabled technologies, and it does have social interaction capability. Okay, well, it sounds really interesting. Um, our time together has really gone by very fast, uh, but I want to ask you a couple of quick questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one is, when's it going to be on the market? Mm -hmm. uh, we expect it to go into our clinical trials this fall here in the United States, and then limited trials in India, Singapore, Japan, and South Korea. Okay, so these are phase, what, one? Phase two? Uh, well, we are through our third generation of the device. We have a 510K clearance on the original device, 
So this is a modification of, of the, the newest wearable technologies, flexible grid technologies. Okay. But when can, when, when, can, when can I go to the store and buy one? Commercially? Yes. Uh, if you live outside of the United States, you'll be able to buy some in about the middle of 2015. Uh, we're looking okay. at Not May, too June, far. July time period. Am I going to be able to afford it? Uh, yes, you will. Actually, you'll be on a monthly basis. You'll be able to uh, use the device on an ongoing basis and just pay through your cell phone. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so really I'll, I'll lease forward. it like my car. Yeah, exactly. But not anywhere close okay, to that price. This good. would be much more And um, yeah. just a couple of business questions. So uh -huh. um, you're, you're actually running this like a medical device. So I know you've probably had significant expenses to get where you are. We have. Um, mm -hmm. What's the source of your funding? Well, right now, uh, we are at our, um, our final seed funding. So in the last six months, uh, we've raised, um, and the total of our seed money has been almost 1.8 million total in to date. And uh, we've just recently gotten another million dollar raise that's uh, being infused as we speak today through the middle of next month. So our, our total seed funding for a launch will be about 2.8 million. Uh, we're then heading into what's called our Series A raise, which is our uh, upcoming $5 million raise. And that actually starts now. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So all you investors out there who are listening, here's your opportunity. It's really the first time we've had something so completely different in breast cancer screening mm -hmm. in decades, really, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that it's wearable and social is really exciting. So I want to thank you very much for spending time with us today, and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Pat. Great seeing you.